Okay, my name is Benton Blake. I'm currently at the Idaho Falls, Idaho, Utah helicopter location. Confusing to some, but uh, needless to say, we started and originated in Utah, moved up to Idaho, kept the name. CFII um, stands for Certified Flight Instructor with the instrument rating. And I started working for the company only three months ago. Uh, I gotta say, it's been quite enjoyable since I started going from that side of the desk to this side of the desk, um, moving from the right seat of the helicopter over to the left seat. Um, fun and enjoyable, and now I get to get paid for it rather than pay to do it. So what's your uh, favorite maneuver to teach so far? Um, in all honesty, autos are fun to teach. Uh, everyone tells me wait till you get your first throttle chop or wait till someone goes forward on the cyclic instead of back. Um, but just the thrill of knowing that you're teaching it, you're doing it, you're in there, and, and you're responsible for the whole thing. I mean, I guess the responsibility could, we could, we could get rid of that, but you just know it's, you know, you're, you're on top of things, and that's when you really know where your skills lie. Like, if your student does mess up, are you on top of it? I mean, you have to be quick enough to recover, and that's when you really get to test your instincts as a pilot. So what made you want to fly helicopters to begin with? Heli skiing. I had a bunch of friends that got into the snowboard industry and they were, you know, big deals, sponsors, and I thought to myself, you know, I started snowboarding so late, there's no way I could ever be with them in those films until I started seeing heli skiing go down. And then I thought, I just might be able to. So I got into it and that's eventually where I'd like to end up. So that'd be your dream job is doing heli skiing? Dream job, taking people up to the top of the mountain and seeing the look on their face when they realize what exactly they got to go down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. you have any advice for anyone who's thinking about starting flight training? Ten years from now, I doubt you're going to look back and say, I wish I never started flying helicopters. It's one of those things where start now. Don't wait five years from now and say, shoot, should have started then. Really, if it's something um, you have any inkling of a passion about at all, jump on it because the passion is only going to grow the more you do it, and you might as well start early. All right, thank you very much, Ben. Yeah, you're welcome.